What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna talk about five of the most powerful creative angles that you can use for your e-commerce performance marketing. So that's if you're running paid media, paid ads on Meta, Instagram, which is Facebook and Instagram, TikTok, and even Snapchat, essentially any paid social platforms that you're running paid media ads for your e-commerce brand, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this because as you understand what those platforms, it's heavily, heavily focused on creatives, right? That's to say that your creatives have to be good. They have to be good in order to capture the attention of your prospects and then draw them into your e-commerce website and eventually, essentially to get them to convert, right? And so those five creative angles that we're gonna talk about, I'm gonna show you specific brands that have successfully used these creative angles and it's in, in the same way, you can just extrapolate and take some of these ideas and then implement them and test them for your own brand, right? All right, without, with, without further ado, <laughs> let's jump straight into it. All right, so if you can see my screen over here, so let me make this full screen. And the first creative angle that we're gonna talk about is social proof, right? With any brand, social proof is one of the most powerful creative angles or tactics that you can use for your, for your, for your brands, right? Or in your creative, right? And so there's multiple ways you can do this, but how these brands have done it very successfully is by essentially taking, right? Or borrowing the, the social proof of other media platforms, right? Or other news publication, right? For example, let's look at this brand, right? Or, you know, R-Y-Z-E. So they're a uh, heal gut information brand uh, company, right? So essentially, they're in the health and wellness space, right? And in the health and wellness space, it's, you know, it's, it's a product that you need to digest and take into your body, right? So especially with those type of brands, with those type of uh, companies, you need social proof, right? And so essentially, these brands, they have, you know, they've borrowed social proof from Business Insiders, Forbes, Entrepreneurs, and Yahoo News, right? They've used this very creatively and inputted them within the creative itself, right? So this is an actual ad that we took a, screen, a screenshot of, right? So they've done this really successfully, and then this brand have done the same thing. This is more like a GIF, right? And you can see how they've used these, you know, they've taken social proof from these publications, right? Vogue, um, what's another one? Forbes, Fast Company, right? And a host of other publications that they've injected, right? So when people see this, right? Boom, it's immediate. Okay, cool. I can trust this brand because of the social proof, right? So this is definitely something I would recommend if you don't have any of this leverage, that I would definitely recommend that you find a way <laughs> to, 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 to use this, right? And then this, also, this brand, they've done something similar, but they're using reviews over 62,000 reviews right five star reviews and then they've injected this within the creative right boom immediately that social proof right people are more likely to click on this type of creative right therefore increasing your click through rate right the higher your click through rate is the lower it decreases your cost per, your cost per click and then just the more traffic that you're sending to your e-commerce website without having to spend more on marketing right and so these brands have these other brands over here have done this very success successfully too right this one is more of in a video Right, so this is a shape. This is a razor for shaving. Right, so kind of look at how they implemented these badges. Right, social proof, social proof. Right, so it's again so powerful. Social proof is so powerful. Let's look at another one, Purist. Right, Forbes, uh, Food and Wine, and other ones that I'm not really familiar with. But again, just the concept of using social proof within your ad itself dramatically it speaks a lot of volume in addition to that it's a lot more people have the inclination to click on those specific type of ad therefore again increasing your click to rate right the higher your click to rate is the lower your cost per click is the more traffic you send into the website and the more conversion and revenue essentially that you're going to be generated for your brand right so that's number one and then the second type of creative angle that you can test for your brand is us versus them Right? Especially in a very competitive field, such as like the health and wellness space, right? Specifically supplements. It's a very competitive space, right? So there's a lot of, for example, let's look at this one. There's a lot of nutritional bar companies out there, right? So how do you differentiate yourself? Using a creative angle like this and putting us versus them. Clearly this brand, they, you know, put in the comparison, they are saying that their product, right? Their nutritional bar has less sugar, right? As you can see over here, less sugar. The competitors have 15 grams of sugar, uh, less carb, which is three. And then the competitors have 20 grams of, of carb and so on and so forth, right? So it's, you know, in, in a space where it's very competitive, you just want to make it easier for your consumer to pick you as opposed to the competitor, right? And this specific fragrance brand have done this also successfully. More so, they're comparing in terms of prices. This is their competitors, they have 92, the, the product is $92, while they're selling it for $48, right? And then this, this you know, this, uh, this other company over here, right, 7th Avenue, 
Um, so they're comparing in a lot of different angles, right? Not only price, but as well as like other features such as like uh, water repellent, uh, removable and washable covers, right? In addition to what is like endlessly modular, which I'm not 100% sure what that is, but you, you, you get the idea, right? So us versus them is a really great way to differentiate yourself from the competitors, right? From the creative angle. Let's look at another one. Let's look at the third one. The third one is the value proposition, right? So essentially calling out your value pr proposition within the creative itself, as you can see over here, right? So let me move this over here and let's look at this first one over here, right? So mega foods, boom, they call, you, you, you gotta think again, so like, <laughs> people are scrolling through the news feed, you wanna capture their attention right away because they don't have the products, right? To look at all the different value proposition that this product has, so it's essential that you make it easy for these for the users to for the consumer to understand what your value proposition is in order for them just to make the decision to even click on the app first of all right so vitamin d3 they're calling that out within their product vitamin c with organic oranges they're calling that out within their product zinc they're also calling that within their product right let's look at another example this specific brand over here right so they're calling out separate value proposition in this manner number one it's like what i really like about that is that just the visual itself and then the color contract that they use and boom, already it just kind of grabs your public attention, right? And then they have these arrows pointing out, okay, cool, our drink is non-alcoholic, right? Lightly carbonated, no artificial color, etc., etc. And then these brands have also done this successfully. They use a carousel in order to call out their value proposition as you can see over here, right? So right, calling out your value proposition, in this specific creative, it's another way to not only capture attention, but to make your ads easier, right, to, to click on. Let's look at another one, number the fourth one, which is gonna be hype, right? This is especially good if you're like launching a new product, right, and you're doing like a pre-release, right, but it doesn't just have to be that. So if, when you look at the specific brand, hype builds a lot of intrigue within the product itself. Like, it's just, I have to click this, I have to find out what this is about, right? So looking at the specific brand, it's a, uh, you know, it's a uh, Vega more, right? So it's on the text itself. It has an influence and it has a product. Why is everyone talking about Vega more? I want to know why everybody's talking about them, right? So I'm going to click on the app to find out why, right? So increasing that click through rate. And then another one is the viral, this is a supplement brand, the viral vitamin. What is the viral vitamin? So it, it just has a lot of intrigue within the specific, within the specific uh, creative. Another one, right? Five reasons why this bottle is changing the game. Why? I want to find out. So I'm going to click on the ad. So it's, it hypes up the specific creative and it hypes up the brand. So people have more of an inclination to click on it, right? So that's number four. And then finally, the fifth one is a founder story. I truly believe that every company needs to have a founder story. Uh, not only what, does it resonate with your, you know, with your prospect, with your consumer, right? But like you build some type of like emotion with them, especially, 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 right? If your if your product or your story, can, uh, your your prospect can relate with the with the story, right? Again, it just builds more kind of, it, it builds more uh, it builds more of a connection, right, between the founder and the prospect and the consumer, right? So having a founder story is an essential piece of creative that I would definitely test out. Not only is this something you need to have within like your website, but again, just testing it out within your creative itself, the ad, whether that's happening on YouTube or just your social, like your social uh, creative, such as like Meta, uh, TikTok, and, and Snapchat too as well, right? As you can see, some of these brands have done this very successfully. This is his smile, you know? Uh, man, they go crazy with their ad, right? And it just kind of sh shares the story of how the brand was created, like the, the process of even making a brand, right? Another one that I really like, I would recommend any, everybody to go check this one out. It's called Drops. Right, so the CEO, this is quite, quite honestly a very funny ad, but it just, it grabs the, the attention of the prospect and it just builds some form of connection with them, right? So it's an essential, an essential, essential piece of creative that I would recommend that you test, right? Again, it's something that you would already need to have on your website because it converts. You build a, you build a relationship with your prospect, right? Guys, right, so that is five creative angles that every, I recommend every e-commerce, not even, you don't even have to be an e-commerce brand, even B2B can test out these creative angles as well. Two, increase your click-through rate from your ad, right? As your click-through rate increases, it lowers your cost to click, right? The lower your cost to click, it's just you're able to drive more traffic to your website without having to spend more on advertising, right? So more traffic, more conversion rates, and it's essentially just more revenue, more top line revenue, right? 
So it's, you know, again, with creative platforms, with social platforms, this is an essential piece. Your creative is gonna be an essential piece, an, an essential piece. So I just give you five angles, five things that you can test for your creative, guys. That's, if you found this video helpful, if you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe, like this video, and I'll be sure to post more videos related to marketing, advertising, performance marketing, and how we use all these different separate platforms, which is Meta, TikTok, and Snapchat, in addition to Google, just to drive more revenue for clients, right? So make sure to subscribe to this channel and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.